students in abundance. Love and light. Health and wholeness. To the third power and beyond. Greetings to the cosmic consciousness. Soul control. Family and soul tribe. out here tapping in with nature. Give it on the life forms. I hope everybody feeling good for no reason at all. Operating at the highest version of your authentic self. You about to get ready to tap into the Sage and Palo Santo in a minute here. I got it ready for us. Trees don't look the same. The season's showing us the cycles. And how we got to change with it. in abundance, love and light, health and wholeness to one and all. Happy solar eclipse and new moon. It's a, it's, a, it's a beautiful, it's a beautiful stillness in the atmosphere. I'm, I'm loving the energy right now. I'm feeling very good. I am your host. Co-pilot, I would have God. Um, as I was saying, I'm feeling good for no reason at all. It's a good thing to be able to be in that space. Um, how many people still wrestle with the fact that this thing that we call God can be at could be in so many places at the same time. Waiting for each and every one of us to realize and figure out what this thing called God, divine source, or how you identify. Waiting for each and every one of us to figure out what it is in us, through us, and all around us, all at the same time. How many people still wrestle with that fact? Or how about this? What can I do to further help you in your journey? that's been the purpose of any and everything that I have shared thus, thus far. It ain't my responsibility or obligation to tell anyone that. It's only my obligation to just to be true to me. And in being true to me, it gives me something to share through the form of these videos. Now, rather anyone is able to take something away from it or not. <laughs> That's not on me. Um, I, needed to, I needed to point that out because it's important to stay focused. <laughs> it's important to stay focused on what your journey is to you. Like it's important for me to stay focused on what my journey is to me. So, and my ability to do that, and my ability to express, I have something to share, I have something to give. I came to slay the devil with love. <laughs> the spirit told me to say that, man. 
Um, I came to slay the devil with love. When I say devil, I don't mean no little horn faking. I mean jealousy, hate, envy, pride, false ego, imposter syndrome. All those, all them forms are, are the devil. So I came to slay the devil with love. Um, Cause sometimes when we move in lower frequencies or devilish forms, trying to be slick, trying to be cunning, we don't know that we're being watched. We don't know that some of the people that we be trying to pull, manipulating acts on, are being watched over. I don't know who need to hear this, but somebody need to hear it if it's coming out my mouth. If everything that I share, if it come out of me, somebody need to hear it. We don't need to we don't need the spirit on our ass in the wrong way because because we don't know how to move right and be right with one another, more so with ourselves. If you're right with yourself, it's easy to be right with others. But it's judgment time for anybody who's been, been wondering or questioning why things happen the way it do. Because things are happening, whether we let, whether, whether we telling people about it or not. I move in the, I move in the spirit. I'm, I'm, I move, I move with the gift of intuition, so I can see with my eyes closed. I can be at many places at one time. Anybody who had that gift can resonate with you. If you don't, you probably scratch your head like what I'm talking about. But that's how the power of truth operates. That's how the spirit of truth operates. And when you stand in it and you speak in it, everybody ain't gonna like you. People gonna say you change. People gonna say you act funny. People gonna say you different. You act different. But just because they just didn't never know you. People can't stand the fact when you can see, people can't stand the fact that you can see through them if you see through them. I know people can't stand the fact that I see through people. So it's, it's just it's just what it is, you know. I mean, I, I, I was born to be in alignment and, and being in alignment come with many things. <clears throat> Hardships <laughs> and blessings, <laughs> but to, to, to be on the, the blessed side, you got to go through the hardships to cultivate your gifts, to cultivate your qualities, to cultivate your talents. That you will be, be uh, in, in, with that, 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 that you will use to be of service for, you know, in, with the world. If you ain't know what we're here to do, those are some things that you can start identifying with what you're here to do with whatever you're doing why you here a lot of time on a spiritual journey it's a lot of things that occur <laughs> according to where we at on the path that we don't always have the answers to, that we may not always understand or identify with what's going on. Because we have to go through certain experiences in the physical or 3D realm to give more meaning to those things that happen in 5D frequencies, you know, dreams, uh, uh, insights, inspirations, creative sparks, all type of things, you know. We have to go through experiences to get the meaning of why this happened, why that happened. Um, as they say, hindsight is 2020 vision. <laughs> A lot of times, when we're giving shown hindsight about something, 
it's always an uncomfortable thing that you're being shown, something that you miss. So hindsight is 2020 vision, but I try to, I try to, I try to, uh, I won't necessarily say see ahead of the time, but be present enough to see it as it come. So at least I can step out the way. I, I can weave and duck if necessary and not be hit, you know, by oncom oncoming, oncoming traffic because I ain't have my, my, my high beams on. <laughs> Um, feeling good to feel good for no reason at all. First, it's a practice. Then it's a habit. Until it's a lifestyle. That's how you do it. Feel good for no reason at all. First, it's a practice. Then it's a habit until it's a lifestyle. And by the time it's a lifestyle, it's very easy to do. Anytime you all set, you can shake it off real quick and get back into the highest mode, feeling good for no reason at all. And have people wondering, why are you smiling? Because I really don't know why I'm smiling right now, but it's just the frequency. It's genuine. Um, Every interaction is a mirror, even this one. So ho hopefully my, my smile was infectious enough to make somebody smile watching this, watch, watching me smile and don't, and don't even know why you smiling. Like I don't know why I'm smiling, but we just smiling. Every interaction is a mirror. Somebody will catch it. The more more of us realize that, it would do wonders for you. Every interaction is a mirror. The more, more of us realize that, it would do wonders for you. What wonder? are you doing for yourself every time you look in the mirror of yourself because every time we look in the mirror of ourselves, it should be showing us some work that we got to do the gods forbid if you walk away and don't start doing what the mirror shows you about yourself that's necessary to be done. God forbid. Feel good for no reason at all. Stay true and authentic to the highest version of yourself. Stay awake. Stay aware. Stay intelligent. And remain divine. from the base of your foundation to the crown of your being. Remain activated and be illuminated. Love and light, stillness and abundance, health and holy family. It's God, I love y'all, peace.